Well, we, you know, I really wasn't thinking about building a following then. I was thinking about, you know, I need customers. <clears throat> like, like, this wasn't some grand plan. Like, I, I, I'm the most transparent person out there. Like, I wanted customers. I wanted. I have a good. I have a. I have a a, a big product lineup of things that that I know have helped me, and and that when used that way, help other people. So, uh, I use Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. LinkedIn, Twitter to get customers. There's no other reason for me to be there. Like if you see me on any of those platforms, I have one goal to make you my customer. It's the best thing for the or customer. Or to make you my partner. Yeah. Or to make you to collaborate with and do business with you. I have no other reason or purpose to be on any of these mechanisms. And so many people would hear that though and think, man, this guy's on there for his own selfish reasons. Truly at the end of the day, the best thing for the customer is to buy your stuff. Yeah, I'm 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 on there. Well, I'm on there. Well, if they don't buy my stuff, I can't be get better. So I can't take care of my family. I can't take care of myself. I can't take care of my brand. I can't expand. The most unselfish thing a person could do is expand. Do you, you think know, it's selfish a, to build a following? No, you have to build a following. You need to build a following, right? But but that should just come. That should happen. Like if the content's good, if you're consistent, if you're frequent, if you're there, if you keep delivering, the following's going to happen it's probably not going to happen as fast as you want it to. And then you got to figure out, is it the following you want? You yeah. know, so, so, you know, Floyd Mayweather's got 22 million people following him, but is it any good? Like, like, I don't know what it does with him. Like, does it do, do does it do business with him? Does it transact with him? I know guys with big followings, there's no, but there's nothing, nothing happens as a result of the, of, of the following. So you on the, uh, is Floyd rich or is Floyd broke? Which, which side? Are I you don't on? know. I don't, you know, I think Roy, Floyd, I think Floyd ends up broke. Ends up broke. If he doesn't, Invest it's not, it's not you. a Floyd thing. It's not a Floyd thing. It's an asset thing. If you don't end up in assets, you end up broke. Yeah. So, because you can't keep fighting forever. So if Floyd was watching right now, what would you say to him? You know, Floyd, you need to spend as much time working on your investments as you do in Neiman Marcus or the Gucci store, the Fendi store. Like, he could so, just invest so, with you, though, right? He could invest a card on capital. You know, I, I mean, I would ensure that he's a billionaire. Wow. Like, you, 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 you cannot become a billionaire without assets. Assets that produce cash flow. Amazon, Facebook, these are asset plays. These are real, these are internet as, uh, a real estate plays. They're, they're the, the real estate's happening in the internet now. So, so you, you, you need, I need places for people to go, right? So uh, Starbucks is in a real estate play. McDonald's is a real estate play. It wasn't a hamburger play. And I need places for people to go and do transactions to transact. So Facebook's that, Instagram's that, Netflix is that. And these all produce cash flow. Now, I can't go find, I can't go create Facebook because I don't have the intelligence to do that. I can't do the next that thing. But what I can do is I can go buy 300 units. You know, that's a simple business. It's not complicated. There's no technology. There's nothing to produce. I can go buy a great location, 300 units, make sure it's rented full. We take care of the tenants, it cash flows. And then we distribute back to our investors. And how that, that's what you... Floyd would do. Floyd would take yeah. whatever money he's got. And we would, we would basically, my recommendation to Floyd is Floyd, do not be liquid. You do not want liquidity. Never show uh, a king bed uh, of cash again. Okay, it's, it makes you look stupid. Okay, it, what, what would be smart is if you show somebody 38 acres of real estate that produces cash every month and say, look, I own that. And I own this one over here and I own that one. I met him just uh, two or three weeks ago. He's like, you know, I, I, I. I got some penthouses. I said, no, you got this much of a penthouse. I own the whole place. That's the difference. Call me when you're serious. <laughs> Enjoy naming Marcus.